All right, track wrestling here in Cedar Falls at the preseason nationals with Minnesota coach Brandon Agum. Uh, first of all, Brandon, uh, you guys had a workout this morning and then you made the drive down. What, what do you like about uh, preseason nationals? What uh, got you to hop in the car and make the drive down here? Well, this is always a, a great tournament. Um, obviously, these, a lot of these kids are local kids or close to us, and I know that plays a role a lot of times in a decision as far as where they're going to go for uh, college and stuff. So that's the big reason, just good kids, and it's close to home, and so we're here trying to see a lot of kids that we've kept our eyes on in the past. Uh, getting ready to kick off the competitive season for, for the Gophers here, coming up pretty quick, and uh, November's a big month for you in, in terms of a couple big duels with uh, South Dakota State and uh, Oklahoma State. I know you got some others mixed in there too. What have you learned about your team uh, since the start of official practices? Well, I guess the big thing this morning, like, as you mentioned, we had our open practice. We got the guys down close to weight, have them uh, competing against each other in the room. The guys are doing really well. Um, just getting better every day, just trying to work hard. You know, truthfully, we'll, I guess we'll see here in a couple weeks. Um, next weekend, we'll go to the Dactronics in Brookings. We use that as our wrestle-off and, and a, good, a good way to see who the best guys are and who's going to be starting that lineup. Um, our first home duel will be November 12th against the Air Force, so we're excited about that. And as you mentioned, then we'll get into some of our other non-conference uh, competition. So we'll see. I guess we're excited about where we're at right now. we got a lot of work to do, no doubt about it. And guys are clawing and scratching, trying to get their spot in the in the lineup. So we're just uh, we'll wait and see, I guess. What are you most eager to find out when, when uh, the training wheels come off, so to speak, in, inside the room and, and you find out uh, where, where you're at against other competition? A uh, big thing is, you know, it's one thing to see guys in the room and, and it's, it's different watching guys in live competition so you really get to see where the guys strength and weaknesses are so it's important so um, that's a big thing I guess is you never know until you get out there and see how guys compete some guys handle pressure and stress differently than others but um, overall the team's doing great you know academically we're doing well so it seems like they've they've really held themselves to a good spot here and so that's from a coaching perspective that's a good thing but We'll wait and see here. As we get deep into the season, you can see how things are going, I guess. Such an incredible uh, 2017 summer for the state of Minnesota it, with uh, Cadet World Championships, uh, Junior World Championships, Mitch McKee, a Junior World Silver Medalist. Uh, some, some Minnesota recruits are on the way that, that I know you can't talk about uh, specifically, but uh, Daniel kirk Valiet and Gable Stevenson. Uh, you want to look further down the line, Emily Shilson making the, the Cadet World Finals as well. Uh, Mitch McKee making the U23 team. Michael Crails making the U23 team. How much excitement is there in the state of Minnesota for wrestling and what's going on and, and how that may affect the Gophers down the line too? Yeah, I mean, obviously uh, at the college program, we're excited to see these guys having success, especially local kids like that. Those are great individuals. I mean, you got to give a lot of uh, respect out to the coaches in the state of Minnesota, the high school coaches and the club coaches. Those guys are, are doing a great job. You know, Minnesota Elite and Pinnacle and, and all those clubs like that, those guys are, are really bringing this level to the very top. So we're excited about that opportunity to continue to recruit these kids and try to keep them home. That's an important part for us to be successful. And and so it's working well. I mean, um, you see uh, Mitchell McKee makes a U23 team and even Michael Crails who just graduated for our program goes out there and, and we're excited, you know, to see those guys compete in, in, uh, over Thanksgiving week out in Portland. So there's a lot of good things going on there. We're excited. We've got a new uh, dressing room that's coming underway. It's supposed to be ready in September with offices and everything. So it's exciting. The Athletes Village that everyone's talking about. Um, you know, when you walk into our wrestling room next year in, in September, I think people walking into that facility are going to say this is, this is the best facility in the country because everything's under one spot there from the academics, um, the weight rooms, the, the restroom rooms, the offices, the nutrition center. Um, we have cardio. I mean, our locker rooms are, are, being, are going to be renovated, or at least that's the plan here. That'll be in a second phase, so I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. But um, as a Gopher wrestling staff and where the team's at, we got a lot of a lot of work to do, no doubt about it. But we're excited where we're going and the support we're getting from the state and the and uh, the you know the rest of the the fans and boosters and alumni. So it's been a good thing. We got a lot of work to do, like I said, but but it, it seems to be going well, one day at a time. Uh, such an interesting situation with Mitch. Uh, you know, I, with 
freestyle now in the middle of, or at the beginning of the folk style season. How do you handle his training for the next month? Yeah, it is tough. You know, we talked to him before the, you know, when the U23 came out, we knew he was a guy that had a really good shot at making that that team. And we we, we were kind of fortunate in the sense that our schedule, we, we had a plan of taking that Thanksgiving weekend off. It's just something that we said, you know, it'd be great to let the guys stay home, go see their families if they could um, over the holiday there. And we felt like we could make that happen. So that was planned away ahead of time. The way the World Championships with U23 unraveled, um, being that same weekend, we were just lucky in that sense. But it is tough leading up to it. A guy like Mitchell's going to go to um, South Dakota on Friday and then Oklahoma State on Sunday. Got two great opponents um, there, so it'll be a great warm-up for him, I think, leading in the World Championships. But but that's something we talked about today. Hey, this is what the plan is. Your goal is here is to win a national title. Um, we'll do those things first. Um, we'll work out and wrestle at the World Championships. Um, following that, we have the we go to the Cliff Keen um, tournament right after the World Championships for him. So that's most likely one that we were like, well, this is a, a time that we could set him out and let him recover from the World Championships. And one day at a time, but that's kind of the plan. We looked at it, and that's where we're, we're, what we're leaning towards doing. So. Uh, something new on the calendar this year, South Beach Duels. Those will be uh, live on Track Wrestling December 29th and 30th. The Gophers are in it. Uh, what did you like about that event? What got the what got Minnesota in that event? It's, it's going to be warm, right? That's the big <laughs> thing, a vacation for us. So um, that'll be exciting. I mean, great location. Um, nice opportunity to get out and get to see some different competition out there. Uh, and, and, the, and I guess for when you got younger guys and older guys in your team, the one thing you're guaranteed there from a training perspective is you, you can almost guarantee the matches that you're going to get. Different guys are in different spots. You know, at tournaments, you, where their guy um, you know, goes through the tournament and is just on the front side or back side, we want to try to keep our team together the best we can at times from the recovery phase after tournaments. And so that, that's a nice thing. Great competition and um, out of conference competition, warm weather. It's a unique uh, situation. We're excited for the opportunity to get down there and, and wrestle in that event. It should be a great one. Uh, since the end of uh, last season, or maybe a, I think it was in the spring, that the uh, sites were revealed for this cycle uh, or the next four years for NCAA championships. 2020, <clears throat> first uh, time it will be in a dome stadium since it was here in the Uni Dome in 1997. How much uh, talk do you hear up there? from casual fans or sports fans or you know, Gopher fans maybe about that tournament being there and what's the excitement level for that? Yeah, everyone's super excited for it. U.S. Bank Stadium, I don't know if you had a chance to be at that, that stadium, it's amazing. So it's going to be a phenomenal experience. Uh, the one thing at the national tournaments I think is going to be really cool about having this, there, it is it is huge. I think that was one of the things they're worried about, the size of it. Like, can we keep that, uh, you know, the intimate atmosphere with fans and the noise? So they got some plans to, to keep that. But the other great thing, it gives us a lot more space for guys to warm up. That's always typically been a problem in a lot of the venues. It feels like there's not enough locker room space. And uh, that space is going to be accommodating to the student athletes. That's very important, obviously. And I think it would be a cool experience for the fans as well. So we're excited about that. Everyone up there is talking about it, loving it. Um, we also get um, the following season. Um, Big Tans is coming back to Minneapolis for 2019. So there's a lot of uh, awesome events coming up here in the future up in Minneapolis. So. Yeah, you look to the future too, and there's, there's the talk about the potential season change. Uh, with going to a, a second semester sport and, and potentially having the dual tournament on the back end, uh, just your thoughts on that. What if what you, uh, you know, when, when you see that laid out, uh, what do you think about it? Do you like it? Is it something that you, you have questions about? Yeah, I mean, I probably don't want to say too much. You know, I, I, I have my thoughts about it. I, I think it's exciting. I, I think it's an interesting idea, and, and um, you know, I'm kind of in support of it. I, I guess I'd like to maybe think about it a little bit more before I say too much, but it seems like a pretty cool concept. Um, they have two national tournaments would be awesome for wrestling fans and, and stuff, but um, I know there's a lot of good points either way on things people like or dislike. So, I mean, two national titles, um, a dual meet championship and an individual like that is would be a, a cool thing for wrestling, the sport of wrestling, I think. So I like that. Anything else for us? No, that's it. Just uh, thanks for uh, taking the time to spend time with us in the University of Minnesota and looking for uh, some great kids down here.